Hey you guys, hey you guys. It's your girl Danny Royal from DannyRoyal.com and I am here to do a video with you guys. Hopefully this is short and sweet. Uh, so I was doing a video already and or I've done a video and I posted it and in that video God gave me a whole nother, other, nother word, okay? And so Pardon me, you guys, if you get a little bit of birds chirping, if you get a little bit of truck driving, if you get a little bit of a little bit of everything, because I'm out here in nature today, okay? So, um, I wanted to share this word because, you know, I was so full when I got, when I got finished doing the video within itself. You know, I just was excited. God put this sensation of excitement into my spirit. But before I get into it, let me thank all of my new subscribers. Thank you for everybody who always continue to, to, to support me, to support Crown Up Nation, to support us. I really, really, really appreciate it. You guys, I can't do this without you. I said that in the last video, but I really, really mean it. I really can't do this without you guys. Um, I mean, it's so much going on. Uh, so many things that I haven't even hit the surface of and either or you you know and I know that God is doing some amazing things for his people and so I just don't want to to miss the mark I don't want him to do it without me you guys so so uh being committed to the crown up journey being committed to you guys being committed to being Danny Royal you know because I, I'm her I am she she is me okay um, and that's something that won't change on this channel. You're going to get a little bit of everything, you know, for those who don't know me, you know, I'm your girl, Danny Royal from DannyRoyal.com. And also, you know, I am, you know, going to give you some word. I'm going to give you some love. I'm going to give you some joy. You're going to get some peace. You're going to get some, some laughter. You're going to get some, some, uh, crowning up with me. Yes. That's something that will never change. You are going to get all things Danny Royal. That's something that won't change either. Amongst so many other things, and I'm so excited to be able to share these things with you. So you're going to get a little bit of everything. So today, I'm going to be pulling from the Bible and also giving you what God gave me, you know, right after I had given that latest video that I just posted. Uh, if you did not get a chance to do that, go watch that or see that. Go watch that. Um, you know, go watch. Check it out, you know like comment and share and subscribe because god is doing something epic epic in this season so without further ado i'm going to say a little prayer to heavenly father we thank you for your presence we thank you for your love we thank you for all that you are all that you're doing all that you're going to do father i thank you for your presence i thank you for your joy i thank you for the joy of the lord being my strength i thank you for your peace the peace that surpasses all understanding lord i thank you Oh, God, for moving like never before. I thank you, oh, God, for sitting high and looking low. God, I thank you for, for judging righteously. I thank you for just being who you are, Abba. I thank you. I thank you. I'm so grateful. I ask that you speak to me, speak through me, and speak for me. Hide me behind your cross on today, Yeshua. Allow this word to fall upon the ears that are supposed to hear it most in the seasons that they are supposed to hear it. In the name of Yeshua HaMashiach. A man. Okay. So here we are, you guys. You guys. Hi. It's always a joy to see you guys. You know, thank you for everybody that's consistently rocking with me. I can't even say that enough. I appreciate you and, and thank you for all of the new people. I appreciate you again. Okay. So here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. This is my second video. Uh, that I'm going to be doing in this day. Uh, I don't know if this video is going to go up before the first video or the vice versa. I don't know. I'm just just know if you see me in the same gear with the same flow, it's because you know it's been a day and and you know I wanted to share some things with you all. So come along with me. Okay, so we're gonna start. God gave me a word and I was writing and I was I started writing stuff down. Hold on. I got another video, part two of the latest video that I did talking about the covenant, part two. So I'm going to deliver this word right now, um, but then part two is coming. So look out for part two of 
of the covenant video, okay? So this is what the Lord spoke to me, you guys. There shall be a performance. There shall be a performance. Okay, so in the last video, I was singing, There shall be a performance. And I got it all wrong because the song is actually sung by Jonathan Nelson, but it's featuring Kiki Shear. There shall be a performance, right? Okay, so there shall be a performance. And so God gave this to me. May the 19th, 2021. And he said, there shall be a performance. The reproach is over. You guys, the reproach is over. And then he backed it up with scripture. Y'all, follow me, follow me, follow me, follow me. But before I get into the scripture, God had me look up performance, right? And honestly, I wish I would have looked up also reproach. But I'm going to give you what the definition of performance is. Performance. Performance is the action or progress of carrying out or accomplishing an action, task, or function. God is about to do what he promised. God is about to supersede our expectations. God is about to... He's about to do past what we promised because first of all, according to his word, eyes haven't seen, ears haven't heard, and neither has it entered into the hearts of men for those uh, who love him. So you guys, there shall be a, a performance and the reproach is over. For those people, I'm just going to give an example real quick. Now I have scripture to back this up, but I'm going to give this, 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 this example. Have you ever, uh, uh, been a, well there's a story in the bible let's start there there's a story a story in the bible where there was a young man who ended up getting sick he was sickly in the bible and what they said is you have had to do something wrong for you to be this sick for you to have this disease and god's like no Nothing happened. His parents did not sin. He did not sin. You know, I, 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 I did this so that the glory can be restored back to my name. So that I could heal him. I knew that I was going to heal him. But he brought a reproach to his family, quote unquote. It wasn't really a, a reproach. Why? Because God had to prove who he was to the unbeliever. So a reproach is something done wrong or something, something wrong with you or something that caused you to be the Debbie Downer of the family, the, the, the Debbie Downer of the situation. Like, oh, well, she had to do something. Oh, 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 that's not of God. Oh, he's just a black sheep. Oh, she's just a black sheep. Oh, that's never going to happen. You know, she keeps switching different careers. She don't know what she wants. Oh, 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 he, he, man, he done been with so many females. He ain't never going to find a one. Oh, that brought a reproach on somebody, maybe family, friend, or whomever. But we bring reproaches onto God all of the time because the way that we represent him sometimes. He, I know Abba's like, what? Like, in the world? Or, where's your faith? Like, what are you doing? Okay, so I had to, I don't know why God just took me there, but I had to go there real quick, you know? But I need you to understand, for those people who have been waiting on God to do something, there shall be a performance and the reproach is over, okay? I'm here to tell you. I'm here to tell you. I'm here to let you know. Okay, man, and what he said when I was writing down this word, because I wrote this, he said, and I'm performing now, and I'm performing now. Not only shall there be a performance, not only is the reproach of, uh, 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 is over, or not only is the reproach over, but 
he is performing now you guys okay i'm excited at the fact that he is performing now some people have been waiting all their lives for their blessings but understand that it's not too late you guys mm -mm. it's never too late for god because our time is not his our ways are not his our thoughts are not his it's not his okay so follow me follow me follow me over to Luke 45 because this was the scripture that he gave me first but I'm going to take y'all to I'm gonna take a way back take a way way back okay but just follow me you guys Luke chapter 1 I got my Bible on deck, y'all. Sorry if y'all see this camera shaking. My device and what it's holding up on is like, it's just like the slightest move I make in the car is like, it shakes. Okay, so bear with me, you guys. So if you see me extend my hand, it's because I'm trying to, you know, control it, right? Okay, so Luke 45, verse chapter one, okay? And it says, because he had me go looking up the word performance. So in my concordance, I went to go look for a scripture concerning that word, right? And he led me here. And blessed is she that believe, for there shall be a performance, okay? Of those things which were told her to her from the Lord did God tell you something did he say he was gonna do something did he promise you something guess what I'm here to tell you that there is about to be a performance in your life and God is about to supersede your expectations and the reproach is over that mother that could not have a baby you are about to have a baby not oh not only are you gonna have a baby but you're going to have multiples multiples lord thank you holy spirit you're going to have multiples that woman that man that's been waiting on your spouse your kingdom spouse your right hand man your friend your best friend to the end guess what god's about to do it there shall be a performance that person who lost everything from that divorce guess what and you thought that you would never be able to recover all guess what there shall be a performance that person that's been waiting for a child to come back home because you've been praying and praying and praying and the enemy tried to get into your headspace as if thank you holy spirit he was not gonna come through there shall be a performance god is doing something so epic in this season and i need you to understand that he that's begun a great work he shall perform it until the day of jesus christ okay so there shall be follow me you guys okay so as i was reading he led me to that do you believe do you believe because your faith moves god your faith moves god you guys i need you to understand that faith moves god but in this season even if you don't believe god's going to send and do miracle signs and wonders so that the glory can be restored back to his name he is doing something so ec so epic and i promise you you're gonna be like these are going to be jaw-dropping moments, you guys. Okay, thank you, Holy Spirit. So as I was reading, as I was reading, God led me to, hold on, y'all. I'm going to start here. I'm going to start here. Because God had me go from back to front, to front, to back, to front. Look, he had me all over the place. But I'm going to start here. I um, Luke chapter 20. And behold, thou shalt be dumb and not able to speak until these days shall perform, shall be performed because thou believest not my words which shall be fulfilled in their season. Y'all, this is somebody's season and God's about to shut the mouth you see oh god 
Thank you, Holy Spirit. He told you something. He promised you something. He, You've been talking about it. You've been faithful for it. But it's somebody. It is people around you who don't believe what the God what what the God that you serve can do. And I need you to understand that God is about to shut the mouth of the enemy. He's about to allow them to obtain the dumb spirit, the dumb spirit where you can't talk, can't say nothing until it happens. And guess what? That's what God's about to do. He's about to make every person who put their mouth on you, every person who did something to you, every person that not only said something to you to your face, but also talking about the ones who said something to you behind your back. God is about to cause them to have that dumb spirit. Because guess what? He gonna muzzle their mouths until it happened. He gonna muzzle their mouths until it happened. He gonna muzzle their mouths until it happened. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I'm fired up today. Why am I fired up today? Because there shall be a performance. And guess what? God is not a God where he should lie. And neither is he the son of man where he has to repent to anybody. Follow me. Zechariah. This is about Zechariah and Rebecca. Zechariah did not believe that his old aged wife could have a could have a baby. Follow me. Follow me. This is what this is this is this is this is this, this right here. Follow me, y'all. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go back. I'm going back. Lord, follow me, y'all. I hope this is not all over the place. And he said, "This is what Zachariah said." Hold on. I'm gonna start here. For he shall be great in the sight of the Lord. Man, I really want to go. Y'all, y'all got to read uh, Luke 1. Luke 1. Just the whole chapter, y'all. I'm trying to figure out where exactly to start. Okay, start at, okay Father, I'm going to start at 15. Y'all go read Luke chapter 1 of its entirety, okay? It's about... Uh, Zachariah and Rebecca, but I'm gonna start here at 15. For he shall be great in the sight of the Lord, and shall drink neither wine nor strong drink, and he shall be filled with the Holy Ghost, even from his mother's womb. That's got oh, that's a whole nother word is within itself. God is about to save children from the womb. God is about to save people quickly. He's about to save. Not only save people, he's about to fill them up with their ho with his Holy Spirit. God is doing a new thing. There's about to be a revival. He is in this season and in this time. You guys don't look for things as usual. Do not look for what you looking for God to come one way. I promise you, he's about to come in a whole nother direction that you couldn't have even fathom. You guys, okay? Continue on the 16. And many of the children. Of Israel shall he turn to the Lord their God. He's going to do it for his sake. He is going to do it for his sake. He is, oh God, thank you, Holy Spirit. He is going to do it for his sake. And all will know who he is. And they will turn to him. And guess what? Those that worship him will and shall worship him in spirit and in truth. You won't have nobody saying, oh, I don't know who God is because his, his, his word is going to be established in every four corner of the church because he's getting his bride ready. That's why he's doing these miracles. He coming through for the come through for his people. I need you to understand that this is not about us, even our, even our blessings. These are about God. This is about God. This is about God. Follow me 17. Okay. And he shall go before him in the spirit and power of Elijah to turn the hearts of the fathers to their children. Come on, God. Come on, y'all. Come on, y'all. Come on, y'all. Okay. And the disobedient to the wisdom of the just to make ready the people prepared for the Lord. He is preparing his people. He's about to cause the wicked to succumb to the just. The just. 
the just, the wealth of the wicked is laid up for the righteous. Do you understand? God is about to flip the script. The first shall be last and the last shall be first. Guess what? And even when you get there, it's not even about us. It's about him. God is bringing the glory back to his name. Okay. Verse 18. Oh, yeah, la, la, bash, yeah. Oh, God. I'm so, ah, my God. Okay. Okay. 18. And Zechariah said unto the angel, Whereby shall I know this? For I am an old man. Where's your faith? Where's your faith? Stop making excuses why God can't do a thing. Take the limits off. Don't look for things the way that you used to look for them. Simple. For I am an old man, and my wife well, well stricken in years. She old too. She she ain't have no kid in years. She she ain't had no seed, no no eggs to to produce a kid in years. My God can do anything. Last time I checked. Okay. Nineteen. And the angel answering said unto him. I am Gabriel and am sent to speak unto thee and to show thee these glad tithings. God's going to show and he's going to prove himself to the people who doubted what God can do. Oh my God. 20. And behold, thou shalt be dumb and not able to speak until that day these things shall be performed because thou believest not my words, which shall be fulfilled in this season, in their seasons. Y'all, it is our season. It is our time. God is about to shut the mouth. He's about to shut the mouths of the unbelievers. And they just going to watch you come up with the come up, okay? They going to watch you do what does say of God. They going to watch you be great. They going to watch you flourish. They going to watch you. They going to just be watching. Get your popcorns, get your donuts, get your cakes, get your coffee. As Cat Car said, hey, we gonna have that slice of cake. Cause I can't wait to do to see when when, when President uh Trump is back in office. I mean, I'm just saying. I'ma get my cake and, and uh 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 who else? Uh, what's her name? Millie. Millie from another channel said, Hey, get your donuts. I'ma get my donuts. Yes, it's about to be lit. For the kingdom, okay? All right, 21. And the people waited for Zechariah and marveled that he tarried so long in the temple. And when he came out, he could not speak unto them. And they perceived that he had seen a vision in the temple. For the for he for he beckoned unto them and remained speechless. Shutting the mouths, right? Not because they want, not because they shut their mouths, but because God about to shut their mouths. Okay, and it they got they got to take their mouths off of their unbelief. Just because you unbelieving and just because you don't got faith, that don't mean that God can't do what He's doing because He's still doing it. Okay, all right, follow me, you guys. All right, I need to hurry up. And it came to pass that as soon as the days of His menstruation were accomplished, He departed unto His own house. Now you can go that way. Once the blessing has been fulfilled, and once God started doing the work, began the work, completed work, finished the work in between time and the meantime, now they about to be able to go down the way. And after those days, his wife Elizabeth conceived and hid herself for five months. Thank you, God, for grace. Grace, saying, Thus hath the Lord dealt with me. In the, in the days wherein he looked on me to take me away, to take away my reproach. God is taking away the reproach because he's doing what he promised. He's doing what he said. He's doing what you've been saying that God said that he was going to do that. No, that didn't nobody believe that God was going to do. He is doing that in this season. He's doing, he's doing what you haven't even mentioned. He's doing that in this season. I need you to understand. And then I'm going to go down to 28, verse 1, Luke. And the angel came unto, unto her and said, Hail, thou that art highly favored, the Lord is with thee. Blessed 
out art thou amongst women? God, God, you are highly favored. God is about to highly favor you because of your faith. And not only is he going to highly favor you, you are going to be blessed amongst the children of God. You are going to be blessed when you come. You're going to be blessed when you go. Come on now. It don't get no better than the blessings of Yah. This is kingdom building time and God's doing something for his people. He's doing something for those that believe. And he's muzzling the mouths of the people who who act like they didn't know that she was going to be so great. Who act like they didn't know that God was going to come through with the come through. And maybe it wasn't really acting for some. Maybe they knew. Maybe they was intimidated and they didn't want to tell you what you saw, what they saw that God was going to do for you. Because they didn't want you to be that pump. But guess what? He's still doing it anyway. Let's get it. Okay? I'm going to go down to 45 one, one more time because he took away the reproach. Favor, you are favored amongst many, men, women, whoever you are. This word extends itself because the Holy Spirit has no gender. 45, follow me. And blessed is she that believed. She believed. He believed. You believed. Therefore, shall no, hold on. And blessed is she that believe, for there shall be a performance of those things which were told from her from the Lord. Okay? Give me one second. I'm going to read down. And I'm going to read 48, verse 48. Well, I'm going to read 46. And it says, And Mary, and Mary said, My soul do have magnified the Lord. You better give thanks, magnify his holy name for the blessings that he's, he's bringing forth in your life. And my spirit have rejoiced in my Savior, my God. For he hath regarded the low state, the lowest state of his handmaiden. Behold, from henceforth, all generations shall call me blessed. All generations are about to call you blessed. Blessed when you come. Blessed when you go. All generations. The reproach has been lifted, y'all. Oh. Legacy. We building legacy over here. Crown up. Okay. Look, I'm excited. For he hath, for he that is mighty have done me great done to me great things and his holy name and his mercy is on them that fear him from generation to generation so not only will you be blessed but your generation and generation and generation will be blessed too because of your faith because of your holiness because of your righteousness because of your prayers because of that because you're favored amongst men God's doing it for you. I received this word for myself because he imparted it into me first and he, he released me to give it to you guys. There shall be a performance. Y'all. And I must go all the way down. Chapter 1, Luke, to verse 58. And her neighbors and her cousins heard how the Lord showed great mercy upon her. And they shall rejoice. They shall rejoice with her. Now, guess what? Family and friends may not like it. Family and friends may like it. But for those people who are for you, they're going to rejoice with you. Do you understand what I'm saying? God's about to do something major. He's about to. He's about to do something major. There shall be a performance. There shall be a performance in my at my home. A performance on my job. A performance at my the word of the Lord says. A performance. The word of the Lord says a performance. There shall be 
I perform. Y'all, like, I know I messed that up just now. I know I messed that all up. But I'm going to put the, the, the song in the description box below. And I'm going to also pin it to the comment section. Y'all, there shall be a performance. The reproach is over. My name is Danny Royal from DannyRoyal.com. Be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe to this video. I am excited about what the Lord is doing. Don't wait for it. Praise him right now because he's already done it in the spirit. Things are being manifested on earth here right now. Don't forget to crown up. You might got to cry a little bit. You might got to cry a lot on your story, on your, on your pain, on where you've been through, on where you want to go. Guess what? Then I want you to take up your royal place in the kingdom because you got work to do. We got work to do. Our blessings are here. They are here. They are here. Crown up. And I'll see you in the next video. Have a blessed day. Peace.